I couldn't help but notice, but <laughs> someone in this room is is nursing what appears to be a very sore elbow, and it's not Biggie, and it's not me. <laughs> it's my damn top spin serve. I keep working on that top spin serve, and it just. Do you throws... need that? I thought you just plop the ball over the net well, when you start I'm trying to get an advantage on my serve. Now people are starting to really get into, uh, you know, trying to get an advantage on that first shot. I'm trying to move up the bracket. <laughs> yeah. And how's that going? Well, I've got elbow pain, I can tell you that. I don't know if anybody's having any trouble with the serve. We're talking about pickleball here. And you caught me in the middle of a rant. I apologize. But my friend Diesel, who's my one of my dearest friends, you know that, and my partner. Well, yesterday, we're playing in the afternoon. It's hot, of course. And he has this habit. With the fellas or just the two of you? No. Well, we, we drilled for two hours first. <laughs> and then the guys came and we played for another three you guys are already sweating. What's going on? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, he has this habit of when the ball, and you, you'll understand this if you play tennis or whatever, or golf, when the ball is hit wide or long, so the point is over, okay? If the ball falls off the ping pong table. <laughs> okay, point is over. Oh, that's it. Okay, exactly. Any sport, you miss the putt. The, 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 it's over. Diesel has this habit of continuing to hit the shot he was going to hit anyway for practice. For practice? Yes. He will, like, the ball is three inches out. Somebody says, out, and Diesel will come over to it and hit it anyway. Back toward the opponent. Yes. And sometimes it catches them off guard. And what sometimes it does is the ball then rolls far away, and we have to pause play to go and get the ball. Because, because they're not expecting a of shot. Of course, of course, because the point is over. Okay. Well, yesterday, I'll see if I can explain this. Diesel and I are on one side of the net playing, and someone tries to lob, and they lob it over my head, and the diesel goes back to get the ball, you know, to hit the shot. Well, it lands about six inches out, you know, back. Now, I'm close to the net now and turning, and as the I, everybody can see the ball is out, and diesel calls out. Easy and, call. Easy call. No, no controversy at all. And I let down my guard and start walking back toward the diesel for our next serve. <laughs> and diesel turns and just before the ball hits the ground after the out call, hits it at hard, as hard as he can back toward the net as if the ball had been in and hit me right square in the middle of the forehead. <laughs> Clunk. Because I had let my guard down. Clunk. Last week, you got hit in the nar in yeah. ads. Yeah, that was not yeah, his he, fault. He, he ticked he, off his paddle yeah. last week right into my genitals. Yeah. This week, it was, play was over. I mean, it was over. It was like out, and then one second later, thunk, thunk, right on my melon. Well, you can imagine. My thick skull? That was yeah. a difficult. And he Did said, the ball crack? Yeah, we had to go to a new ball. The ball <laughs> split in half, and, and, and Diesel said, oh, I'm so sorry. He's like, well. We've seen this before. Yeah. Um, with a legendary duo, uh, Shaq and Kobe. <laughs> okay. This is the, the this is the start oh of the cracks, okay? Oh boy! This is uh, this is when the you uh, won some championships together, yeah. but they just couldn't. Yeah, you're yeah. a dynamic duo coexist, and uh, it's kind of like you know I'm sure there was a practice where mm. Kobe maybe threw the ball too hard at Shaq mm -hmm. right there. That's where Shaq took a little umbrage and said, "I don't like this. That's I'm right. the star. This is what's happening now. We're seeing these. That's right. These little breaks." Then later, Shaq did a rap about Kobe, Tell Me How My Ass Tastes, which we vowed never to play again after Kobe's tragic demise. Yes. We, just, yeah. we said we're not playing that again. Mm -hmm. But he did, because those two had beef. They did, yeah. For a long time. Yeah, and then Shaq then won a title mm -hmm. without Kobe. In right. Miami. Yeah. yeah. And Kobe never won without Shaq? Oh, no, he won two he without won two Shaq. without Shaq. Yeah. But Shaq went down Miami and mm -hmm. won. Kobe won two without Shaq? Yeah. And if, when you look back at those teams, it's amazing. Yeah. So if you look at those, because <laughs> they'll... Well, sometimes on social media, it'll be like, you know, they'll say, here's a championship lineup. Mm -hmm. I, it's, I guess it's in my algorithm at this point, and mm -hmm. it just gives you the whole roster. Mm -hmm. And when you look at those, the roster of the teams that Kobe won with without Shaq. Impressive. It is impressive. It, mm -hmm. Is it, can you put, I've heard this recently, Kobe should be in the conversation with Jordan, LeBron, Kareem as the best of all time. I would say, yeah, I, I think. I got a whole new appreciation for Kobe after the Dream Team documentary mm, oh, on did you? Um, yeah. the Thirty for Thirty on the mm. Dream Team. I mean, not or that they he's called not, it the Redeem Team. Not that he mm. is the best, but that he at least should be mentioned alongside. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I think he should be mentioned in that top. It's hard when you get to the top five, mm -hmm. top ten. I'd say definitely. Mm. Yeah, when you get to the top five, to me, it's really hard. Mm. 
But what he did and who, I mean, just his drive was Mm -hmm. unmatched. I I would put him up there with Jordan as far as drive goes. Mm -hmm. Well, Jordan, they say, was the most competitive ever. You know, Mm -hmm. he was the the drive. And it it broke the team apart. I mean, he had to retire himself, uh, they say, because his drive was so hard. Well, in that 30 for 30, it's called the Redeem Team. He joined late Team USA. It was Mm -hmm. after Team USA had done terrible in the Olympics. Mm -hmm. So they brought in like Coach K Mm -hmm. and different NBA guys. And uh, he wasn't going to join the team at first. And when he did, they were in Las Vegas. And the first night, all the guys on the team went out to party at the club, Mm -hmm. except Kobe. And as they were coming back from the club in the hotel, they walked by the gym and at three in the morning, Kobe's in there shooting. Right. And everybody on the team's like, what are you doing, man? He's like, I'm up. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm up for the day. I'm, I'm practicing. What are y'all doing? Yeah, coming he's, back from the club. Yeah, and uh, he said they they said it changed everything. The next morning, everybody's in the gym with him at 4 a.m. Okay, Diesel is Kobe. He hits every shot, even the shots that are out. Okay, the point okay. is over. He keeps playing one more point, one more mm-hmm. shot to be the best he can possibly be. Now, at the expense of my face. That was yeah. the problem yesterday. Yeah. We came for, and you should see, boy, the pickleball really fills your field of vision when it yeah. comes straight Did you go you. down to the ground? Oh, yes. <laughs> Bonk. Yeah. And, th- and the other guys were like, what happened? Because they were turned away, too. They were walking back oh. to their position. They were like, what happened? Did they think he'd hit you with his own paddle, your own partner? They thought he was yeah. like, well, I wasn't playing particularly well. Did you snap like you do sometimes and say, he set out? <laughs> <laughs> or did you just swallow? Oh, I'm fine. Swallowed it and muttered. Okay. Did a lot of muttering after that. Yeah. And did, look, did you grouse at the wife when you got home? Big time. And my and son, their kids. And my mm-hmm. kids. Yeah. I took it out on them more than Southern <laughs> Diesel, but I was shocked to see it coming back at me, to say the least. You know. Mm-hmm. And that was. So oh, you caught me in the middle of a rant there. Yeah. Yeah. In, yeah in, in, it's in all right. Rant. But like we said, this is uh, how it starts. You're right. I don't. I don't. I don't know that you're Shaq. <laughs> No, I, I don't. I don't know I don't that know I'm sure you are. I don't know that he's Kobe. He you're might. Rambus. I guess I'm Rambus. I, yeah, maybe I should have thought of a lower duo. We're Rambus and Lame Beer. Uh, <laughs> okay. If they yeah. teamed, if they ever yeah, did. I don't think they ever played together. No, yeah. no, but we're yeah. Maybe you're like Robert Parrish and uh, <laughs> Kevin McHale. Yeah, there you go. Not that no, good. They're not, too not, good. Not, not too okay. good. They're too, they're too good. good. <laughs> we can't. Mm-mm. We can't go that route. Uh, uh, maybe you're like the Ball Brothers. <laughs> No, not flashy enough. I don't. I don't. We're not. Yeah, no flash. No. Uh, Rick Mahorn and okay. Bill Lane Beer. Let's go okay. that way. Let's okay. go that route. Mm-hmm. The old, the old bad boys Pistons. Yeah, yeah. that's what I but guess. They were bullies. You guys aren't. You're milk toasty. Yeah. God, yeah. We get pushed around a lot. Mm-hmm. Maybe I'm. Uh, Maybe you're just the guys that are on every poster that a superstar is. Like you're getting dunked on. Dunked on. <laughs> I'm Luke Longley. Okay. Yeah. And he is who's on that team? Wedman. Wedman. <laughs> Was there a Wedman on one of the Bulls teams? I think so, yeah. <laughs> There's a Wedman. Yeah, we're Longley Wedman. That's, yeah. that, that's, yes. what we, okay. that's okay. who right. we are from the Bulls in the mid-90s. We're right. Longley Wedman. We're not, we're not Shaq Kobe. We're not to that level. But he does practice every single – to the point of his like – No points off. No point. Not even between points. No See, points he off, still no days play, off. He, he still plays. We are just talking about something that happened in England, the um, – desecration of prince charles king charles new portrait this is england also there's a bbc tv anchor she went full ron burgundy she read what was on the prompter even though it was wrong i give her a little slack on this do you think it wasn't that bad i don't i don't think it was that bad it's just odd i mean i guess you really do just when you're in that situation just read this is you you know what i'm talking about from anchorman the movie anchorman this is ron burgundy will ferrell's character News team, I'm Veronica Corningstone. And I'm Ron Burgundy. Go f yourself, San Diego. So they put that on the prompter. <laughs> Great show, everybody. Burgundy didn't even know what no, he no. said. That's right. So the anchor read it exactly. She was doing a story on a type of mouse native to Northern Europe. And she read exactly what was on the teleprompter. Over the last 20 years, the number of hazel dormice has declined by as much as 70% across the UK. It's hoped a new project which sees them re-released into their natural habit could help to restore the population. Is it habit or habitat? Well, it's habit on the auto queue, so what can I say? Nicola Hassler has more. I'm Ron Burgundy. Okay, so she went to the Ron Burgundy. All she said was habit instead of habitat, but she read it exactly what as it was. On the auto queue. That's what they call the teleprompter. Oh, okay, I wasn't sure. The auto queue. So it said habit by accident. It should have been habitat. Did she ad lib the Ron Burgundy part? Yes, 
She ad libbed okay. the wrong burger part. That's what she did. She ad libbed the wrong burger. That's actually part. pretty. I thought so too. Quick ad lib. Later, she explained it. I of course meant to say habitat, but habit was written on the auto cue, which just shows you that I just read whatever is written in front of me okay. clearly. That's it. That's all mm. she does. She said, "I'm just going to read it no matter what." I did hear an anchor recently uh, here locally, and it was the the story was a suspect had been found in Colorado Springs, Colorado, and I believe on the teleprompter it was written colorado springs co the abbreviation for the state yes and she said he had been found hiding out in colorado springs co (laughs) i would have made that mistake i can see myself making that mistake Mm. well you know i told dave aiken about that who's a tv man and he says the reason co is even there because you don't need it you could just say he was found hiding out in colorado springs but he says what people do is just rip that from the internet. It's copy and paste, and they stick it in oh. there. And so CO comes along with it, and the person probably should just skip it or say Colorado, but she was reading it, maybe just a cold read, and said Colorado Springs Co., mm. which sounds odd. We know about cold reads here. We know. Well, yeah, everybody in, in the business, it is inevitable. Mm, yeah. Uh, we've had, I mean, we've played them before. Uh, the, the, list, the list is long Flo Elf, and, and the list will never end. Flatiza, Flatiza is the best one ever. Uh, I was handed a piece of copy just before airtime, showtime. Must have been a Monday. We were giving away from Subway their new Flatiza sandwiches. Today's forecast brought to you by Subway, introducing their new Flatizas, where cheesy and delicious meet crispy and square. Your choice of a cheese, pepperoni, spicy Italian, or ve- or veggie Flatiza. At t- <laughs> That's where we lost it. That's where we lost it right there. I didn't know if it was Flatiza or Flatiza. That's the whole thing, you know. You don't Sometimes know. Sometimes they give you a little pronunciation if it's if it's a, a new word. And I stand by it should be Flatiza because pizza is pizza. Yeah, but as Biggie pointed out in his subway executive voice, mm. how hard can it be to say Flatiza? <laughs> Well, of course, yeah. I understand that now. And then the other is November. We were giving away a product. <laughs> uh, I just think I've still ever heard Dave laugh like this. Skin care. Uh, the dwaddle under the neck. Over oh, skin tightening? Skin tightening. Uh, and I, it's a cold read. This is a cold read. Real nice prize for you today. $50 gift card to Horizon Med Spa. It's November at Horizon Med Spa. <laughs> I don't know why. Dave thought that was so funny. That is the current record for Dave Laugh. <laughs> you know when they go back through shows, like on like Friends, the longest laugh is or Seinfeld, yeah, yeah, the longest laugh, or I Love Lucy, or whatever. Uh, that's probably uh, Dave Aiken's longest yeah. laugh, I would say, right there with Nick Member. And I don't know why that just was, that was a cold <laughs> read. That was a cold read. I didn't, mm-hmm. I didn't bother to look at. Yeah. Now we were in the month of November. Yeah, you can imagine. Yeah, you know. but as you'll note, yeah. the business is gone, and so is Nick Member. Fact and fact. <laughs> yeah, that was the only time. That was the only time we ever said the words Nick Member.